Yo, what's up guys, it's Technology Hill back here and today in this video we'll see how to update the BIOS specifically for MSI motherboards. I am running a Ryzen 5 3600 on my MSI B450M and the BIOS is pretty much old from 2019. It is a B450M Pro M2 Max. It's a test bench. I was running a Ryzen 5 3600 and today I need to test a Ryzen 5th generation. I plugged it in and I see that the CPU error LED is beeping constantly which clearly means that the processor is not being read by the motherboard and then I realized that wait the BIOS needs to be updated before that. So let's quickly see how can it be done. Simply head up to your browser and search for your motherboard's exact model. If you are not sure just look close to your board you'll find a sticker or a label that has the model written. This is a most crucial step in this. Once done head up to your motherboard's official manufacturer page of course MSI. You'll be taken to the support tab from support go to drivers and downloads and to firmware slash bios from here you are recommended to download the top one that is the latest one but here we can see this one is a beta version better not to risk with the beta versions we'll go a step lower and we'll pick this one so simply download the file and once the file is downloaded you'll get a zip file like this inside that you have a folder and a weird extension file with a text file so what you need is a new pen drive or any pen drive that is completely blank format it to the default file type it supports and just let it be blank now from the downloaded file you just need to open that archive select that folder and extract it to your usb flash drive once done head back to your usb drive and just cross confirm if the file has been pasted in there correctly the text file will basically include all the patch notes and version details for that particular bios version and your BIOS file should be in there. That's it. Now we can restart the machine and let's head back to BIOS for updating the BIOS. Okay, so I've switched to my camera for the further recordings. And now all you need to do is that simply restart your machine. It will take a while. Once it boots up, press the delete key repeatedly so that you enter your BIOS screen. And once into your BIOS, you can see here that the BIOS version is shown as from 2019. And on the bottom left or wherever you'll get the option for the M flash mode, whether it be the easy or the advanced mode. So you are supposed to enter the M flash mode simply by tapping yes. And as soon as you tap yes, your screen is supposed to go black. There will be no signal. And once it boots up after a couple of seconds, it will show entering flash mode. And yes, that's all you have to do for entering the flash mode. This is how your user interface will look like. It will just have your external USB drive listed. So here you can see the contents of the drive are shown. So I opened that particular directory and there is the BIOS file. So you just need to select that file and tap yes. It will also show the BIOS build date at the bottom of the screen. So yes, that's all. After that, simply proceed and give it about four to five minutes. After that, the BIOS update would be almost complete. Now the most crucial part is that you make sure that you have a power backup or you live in a stable place because if there is a power cut during the BIOS update, your motherboard will become completely unusable. So take this prevention before you proceed. So that's all. Once the BIOS update is complete, the screen will suddenly go black again and then it will continue to boot up normally. So let's head up to BIOS and here you can see that the BIOS build date is shown from 2024. So yes, that is a good sign. The BIOS has been updated successfully. So let's boot into Windows and see whether our new processor is working good or not. All right, so I have booted into my machine and now let's go and have a look on the system information. So previously it was showing 2019, but now you can see after the BIOS update, it has changed to 2024. And also I have installed the new processor, the Ryzen 5 5600X. And yes, since it's working, that clearly indicates that the BIOS update was successful. So yes, that's all for this video. If you are updating your BIOS for the first time, just remember two key points. Number one is that you have to download the accurately correct version for the BIOS. Otherwise, if you download it for a wrong model and then flash it off, your motherboard will be instantly dead and that too forever unrecoverable. And number two is that when you update your BIOS, make sure that you have a power backup because in case there is a power loss between the BIOS update, again, your motherboard will become unrecoverable. So that's all for this video. If you are facing any issues or if you have any queries, comment down, I'll reply you back. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.